Hello, my name is Austin, and this will be the very first of this series. The Real Board Lectures. So for this video, what I'm going to do is go over the first game of five from a Portland tournament from the first weekend of October. Um, I played in the Dawn Division and was set as an AGA 1 Dawn. Um, there were about six, I think, that six players that were in the one Dawn to three Dawn range, AGA ranking as well. And, yeah. So this one is against another Dawn. And I am playing as white. Yeah, I'm playing as white. And we're both Dawns. All right. So the first move, no big cahoots or anything. Just simple, simple, simple. I do the same thing, just a simple corner. Black does the same thing again. And I also just go ahead and take another corner point. Nothing special, just four corner four corner plays. Yeah. So exciting, you know. Um next black does the approach and I go ahead and back off. Nothing surprising there. Black goes ahead and jumps out. Um sometimes what someone might be thinking. I, this is what I'm going to try to do for videos. I am going to go ahead and try to play through some example plays that someone might be thinking about. Um, so then you can get an idea as to things such as playing here instead of going for the corner. So if Black were to do this, Black would be okay. He'd have a nice base. However, it's it's low. It's on the third line. And it doesn't, it doesn't make this side very interesting. Any low stone makes the side look not very interesting. Black could try to do this, but then white could easily go ahead and play something like right here at whatever spot that is. Um, yeah. Um, another thing is white possibly doing a pincer. Might not happen, but... You know, anything's possible, but in short, black, if black wanted this side, then this pincer would prevent that from happening. So, that's a few reasons why black did this. I mean, this is fine to do as well. There's nothing wrong with this. Um, although, I would usually see something like this, the Kobayashi, instead of having the cornerstone having the cornerstone here instead of the 3-4. Um, so that that's this. Sure, white does have the weakness here. Black has the weakness here. But it's too small right now. Um, much bigger things to do. This, this is more of an invasion thing. Um, let's see. And I went ahead and approached on this side. Now... I do want to mention that I did get this game reviewed by a 7 Don. Um, other than the Don division, there was one division higher, and that was between a 5 Don and a 7 Don. They were the only Dons above 4 Kiyu. And they played each other for all five games. But the 7 Don helped by going over the game. And he did say that this was okay. However, if White were to do an approach on this side, it would probably be a better um, advantage for White. Because if White plays over here, White-Black can build up over here um, later. I'm not, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. No, I'm going to go through the whole thing here. Um, I don't know, something like this. This side's okay, I guess, but 
black is now building up over here, well, would probably fix that. There's a big difference. I mean, black gets a very nice corner. Well, decent corner. I don't know how to explain it. Um, actually, here, let, let's just explain it like this. Um, like... Um, I don't know. Just, a, just let's just go with this common one. This side's going to be uninteresting. Black is going to be able to do something out here, maybe something over here, um, and just be able to gain a whole lot more. Sure, it does have weakness, but so do I. Um, wide open, but all of my stones would be low. His are all high. Better potential for center. But this, this is just something that he wanted to point out. Um, depends on the way that you want to play. I mean, if you want to play like this, that's fine. It's almost what happened in my game. Um, but if you don't want to play big Moyo games, then go ahead and play something like this. Instead of approaching on the side. For that reason. Um, of course, there's going to be other reasons for things like that. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and show what happened in the game. He did a high jump. So then he can play down here. And now it's basically like how I mentioned before, how, and I, I played here next. Basically just a Moyo game. Um... I believe, I don't remember, because it's been a few weeks, I don't remember exactly what he, what he said, but maybe playing over here now is a possibility, but I personally like just playing out here. Um, just, yeah, just, it's just what I felt was going to work best. Uh, so he goes ahead and encloses half of the corner. And I suddenly th have the thought that I need to do something in this area or this area. Something down here because I can I can easily do something like play right here um, later on. But I thought that I should do something down here. So I went ahead and did an attachment. Um, he The 7 Dawn didn't make... Um, a comment on this um, unless he said this he said this at one point I think um, because it keeps black low and black is going to be pushed down here while white possibly gets potential for a wall because black can't just do that um, this would be too passive um, because I can attack on this side um, and playing over here I could just do the same thing or something like that um, playing here it doesn't really um, help with that so he goes ahead and does a Hane and I do a cross cut now my reasoning for the cross cut is sure I could I could maybe do something like this but it even if I were to live in here he's going to get this nice wall and nice potential for this area and that would be far too big um, and this would be living far too small so I thought that I could either go for this and have some Aji out here or he take the corner and I get some stones out here that was my thought. Um, and he, he goes ahead and does a no B extension. And I go ahead and do an Atari saying, okay, you can have my corner. That's fine. And now I'm getting the stones that I wanted out here. Um, I played here. However, the seven Dawn said it, it'd probably be better to just fix in there because black still needs another move in here. 
um, to be able to prevent white from capturing anything. It's getting at least one eye. Um, but even though I played here, black went ahead and played here. What I was thinking is that he would do an Atari first. Or right here. No, not right there. That just leads to a ladder. Um, I thought he would do something here first. Um, but that didn't happen. So I went ahead and after he protected, I went ahead and extended. Now he's the seven dawn mentioned that this probably was, I mean, it's a good thought because the ladder does work. However, just like in the game, black peeped at that one spot, that one cutting possible cutting spot that white has. And that doesn't really make a nice shape for white. And th this is what happened in the game. Um, and I'm, I'm looking at this on my phone. I have the original on my laptop, which is what is currently overlaying the board. Um, the 7 on mentioned that playing, simply playing here is a lot better because now <laughs> just black playing there would be stupid. Um, or even playing out here because this is getting white to get some stones out there. Um, yeah. So black did the peep. I found this next move very interesting. He just extended up. I mean, I do get what he's after. I mean, he's trying to surround this he now heavy group um, while gaining some potential for this area. Um, one thing to think about that helped me get up a rank like almost instantly is to think about heavy groups like this. This is a heavy group because white it looks like white is seeping in very thinly through black's territory and it has no eyes and it's going to be maybe one eye down here but it's going to be really hard for white to live or run out anywhere because it's already got blacks already has potential on the sides if you would think about heavy groups like this and try to prevent that this kind of thing from happening you probably would be able to read the board a little better and prevent yourself from getting into bad situations like this um all heavy groups are bad unless it has um, potential to run out um I went ahead and extended up. Now, Black's next move, the Seven Dawn said, was slow, and I do agree. Black played here, and it's slow. It is, it's definitely slow, because now I can run out in this direction. He's pushing me out in this direction with this move. If Black were to jump out here, sure, this side's a little wide, but it's not like I can invade in here. I mean, if I tried to do that, I could be cut off. Um, I mean, he, no, not that. Um, could easily maybe do something like this, or just completely surround. I mean, white doesn't have any eyes. White can still be cut, and it it just looks a lot nicer for black um, with something like this. But playing here, it 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 just leaves too much potential for white to be able to live I mean this is not very much this little area nine nine points it nine points 12 points 15 points at the most just to let white run out there I mean if if black did get this wall here I mean look at this playing out here now is gonna be really huge Like a really nice wall pushing white down to second line territory and yeah just well maybe maybe here maybe um or just there or here whatever you want um and this is just too much
and white is still able to be invaded on that side. So, back to the original game. Black had played there, and I went ahead, and instead of running out, I decided that I would come in here because I wanted to attack this group while preventing myself from being, from continuing to be heavy. Um, he pushes, I just do a descent, and he does a diagonal to a surround. However, when I push through, he jumps out. I mean, he didn't he didn't play here, which is what I was thinking, and probably excuse me, but probably what most would be thinking, but instead he plays here. He probably thought that he could easily just surround this group and do it in a fancy way, but this is this doesn't work. It would it would be best beneficial if Black were to just simply cap it like that. Um, so black extended out, white pushed through, black blocks, white extends out uh, through, black blocks there. I make this peep, and the seven dawn, and I do agree with this, said that this is too slow. Well, it's not slow, it's just a waste of a co-threat. And a waste of possibilities with something out here. And doesn't give white anything. Like maybe a possibility of one eye, but it's not likely. Um, just don't ever waste a move. <coughs> Excuse me. Just don't don't waste a move like this. Because it's sente. It's a very small sente, and it doesn't gain anything. You want to make sure that if you do something like this, you are gaining something out of it, like maybe shape for an eye, or shape to be able to run out. But right here, white's fine. If black cuts off that one stone, it's very small. Should have just gone ahead and gone over here, because, yeah. Leaves that co threat there, and other such things. So black does block that, getting rid of potential co-threats. Here black extends on the side. I mean, some might think that he might do this, so he doesn't become heavy because this is quite a group that black has now in that middle area. Um, but instead he plays here, probably continuing to want to build this because it is a good idea to um, benefit from chasing around a group such as this, but he does have a group to worry about. I extend out, and he jumps. So, yeah, I do play there. So, my current thought now is, yes, I am now able to run out, but it would also be in Gote. And he does have this group here. So if I am able to do something with this group to keep it heavy and attackable, then I will be able to benefit and be able to do something in here or gain some potential on this side. Um, but I first wanted to make this peep because I didn't want this to get too big. Um, he went ahead and connected after that. And I decided to jump out and leave that there for later, because I can still attack this group if he ignores it. And in the game, he does ignore it. He goes ahead and plays here. Now, you can't lie saying that you wouldn't do this too, because this group looks totally fine. It can connect over, it can run out, it can still attack this white group, and such and such. The Seven Dawn compliments me for my next move. I do an attachment, and he said that this was a really good move. Because, sure, white can do this, but then black is fine. And, I mean, white can't play here very easily. And this... I mean, black can jump... 
Black and Hane, or something. Um, although, honestly, it may still be okay, quite honestly. Um, but... just doesn't seem as efficient. This is more of a chasing than a surrounding. And surrounding this group is better beneficial than chasing. Because this threatens the Hane. So I went ahead and did the attachment. Black Hanes. And I cut. So now I'm surrounding his black group, and now he has to worry about it, and my group is okay. This is a huge turn. Um, he goes ahead and extends out. I should have extended again. I should not have done what I did and play here, because this is another waste of future possibilities. Because without that, um, I might be able to do something in here, get some Atari, and start attacking that group um, after possibly doing something in there. Um, I don't remember exactly what the Seven Non said about that, but he definitely said that this should be up here. Um, it's specifically for those stones. He connects, and I jump out. He makes an attachment as to be able to spread out more in this area. I go ahead and Hane. He extends up one. I extend up one. He... wait. He, he jumped. Sorry. My bad. My bad. He... He attached to that stone, I jumped, did an obi, and he did the same thing, and I did again. So then I couldn't be surrounded. Now, as you can see, I can clearly do something, make a table shape here and be able to attack this group. Um, and make this very little territory for black, just in this little area. Um, but that's more of later, because... This whole side is huge right now, and as well as this group. Um, black does a double Hane. And then we're back to what I had mentioned about this stone making the peep here for a waste of a co-threat. I do the same thing here. Waste of a co-threat. And then I do an Atari. And then he does the same thing, says the Seven Dawn. And I do agree with this. Because now, with that, sure, it protects a cut, but I can protect myself back. And I have a better potential of attacking this area now. Um, and I had no idea what, why, he ended, why he chose this time to play down here. But, it, I mean, it's Sente. It works, because it threatens to connect underneath. Um, and then he decides to connect there. Um, and I do apologize if the black ones seem to gray a little. Because these stones are brand new. I haven't... I have hardly touched them. And... Because they haven't been used enough, the stones haven't absorbed enough moisture from the fingertips. Um, they might seem a little dry. I mean, I washed them, but they still ended up dry because they aren't used enough. So hopefully later on, if they do look gray, hopefully later on it, that will change. Um, yeah, so he extended out. I played... Whoops. I played here to connect. Now that... The 7 on said I could have easily just extended out. I would be okay. Um, because I can attack this group still, and I can run out better. I mean, because if he plays there, I can just play here. Just a simple net. 
Um, so I ended up going here. And black comes and plays here. And yes, that is a good... That is a better move than having played out here. Because then I do have a potential of doing an extension here. He can't easily do anything about it by playing here because of these stones here. I can do an extension, he blocks, I can play here, and then I can either do an Atari Atari and escape, or an Atari Atari for a double Atari. So this extension was good. And then I extended out over to the side to make sure that my group was okay. And then the next part of the game happens. So looking at the board, this would be a perfect time to take a look at the whole board, especially for black. So right now, this is black's territory. A good... Um, 19, well, 9, 18, 20, 22, maybe 24 points, um, 22, if you want to be more um, specific. So about 22 on this side, um, about 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 20, 23, 26 on this side. So about 40 to 50 points in that area, while white, I mean, it's, it's pretty obvious that this area is huge. Um, no, I'm just going to leave it at that, because I kind of seem a little stupid by that. But if counting like that does feel better, then do it. Um, I mean, specifically for this game, it might be, just be simply obvious to see that that area is the biggest part. And why can easily really gain from that? Um, but there may be some games where it's not as obvious at this point of a game, about 70 to 80 moves into the game, where you aren't sure about where to play, and you want to figure out where you want to play. You want to make sure that you can count what your opponent has and what you have, and then what would be a great reduction, a great defense, a great attack, um, something of the sort. Just what would be the biggest possible move to do? Um, and of course I do have the potential of playing here or here. Um, I'll explain that later. So Black decided that he wanted to invade and this is okay. However, I feel like it was too beneficial for me. And I did be a little weird with this. So I extended out to block. He extends out. I just jump out. But honestly, I should have just done, done a Hane. Really should have done a Hane. Really, really, really should have done a Hane. And because of that, he extends out. I go ahead and do a Hane back. He does a Hane below. I play that, and he plays that. Now, I should not have played this. I should have just gone ahead and played over here. But, no, I decided to play here. Now, his next move was down here instead of playing up there. I mean, I kind of get where he's getting because... Now I do have this possible wall to better attack this group. Um, but I decide to push down, and he does have to respond to that, so now my that area is fine. Now here's another point where you want to think about um, where to go. And now we're thinking as white this time. Um, the biggest parts of the board right now is this area, blocking this off. However, I wasn't thinking about that because I was thinking that this, like a move over here or um, jumping out here, 
um, this little area could just reduce this and not be very big. However, that is really big. Um, playing a move right, excuse me, playing this move is huge. This is one possibility. Another possibility, this is what I played. I played here because I believe that the corner was going to be the biggest thing of the whole board because it, you get the most points out of the corner. Um, however, Black still does have the 3-3 um, three, three points, so you do have a possibility of that. So you can choose... This is what I want to met, wanted to mention before. Here, because Black can live in the corner that way, you can choose. You can either choose to keep the corner and he plays here, I can still attack this stone and be able to do some reduction, or I could generally focus on playing here to do some reducing, some serious reducing in here while threatening to take a huge corner and letting, and if he does live in the corner, then I can do such and such. However, however, this is something that the Seven Dawn told me. After um, talking about this a little more, he said that I shouldn't do anything with this side. Because if he goes for the corner, I can block and I can play down here and I can take this area and be okay. If he wants to save the stone, then I can just take the corner. It's just like if white were to play first. It's just in this situation, black playing first. So sometimes you want to think about that. You want to think about what it is that you can do, but as well as what the opponent can do. Because in situations like this, it doesn't matter who goes first because both are going to gain something as well as lose something. So that is why he kept mentioning this because this is also the biggest, bigger part of the board right now. Um, so I ended up going there, and just like that, nope, never mind. So he goes for the corner, um, like mentioned before, and I block, and then we just do this corner stuff. Yay, corner stuff! Oh, and I am sitting on a nice red cube with a lid. It's so much nicer than sitting on the floor, so I am more comfortable today, even though I do have a weird feeling in my left leg right now, like it feels numb. Um, yeah. And then we finish up the corner stuff. And this is okay for me, because I do not have to worry about that cut, but he still needs to worry about playing there. Um... So I took the opportunity to play here. Should be right there. But the Seven Dawn once again said, this would be the move to do. At this point, I was worried that he could, again, just play out here and be able to get some more points in here. But honestly, that's what? Because this is also going to be wide, so it's only going to be this little area. That's about maybe nine points. Well, this is so much bigger than that. Um, I mean, so much bigger. Um, but no, I decided that I wanted to play this. Because I thought that I would be able to get bigger points here. But this would have been much more solid. Not as many weaknesses, etc., etc. And because of my choice of playing down here, he goes ahead and plays here. Which is huge. This is good for black. So, now if we think about it, where's white's territory? Hmm, here, here, here. Black's territory? Here, here, and two corners. The corners are about, together, are about 14 points. This is about 20 points. This is about 24. Also 20 points. So it's about 54 points for black. This whole area... Let me place my next move. This area is about... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, f about 
29, 30, 32, 34, about 34 in this area. And then about 15 over here and about maybe another 20 up there or 15. So 30, 30, 60, about 60 to 54. So it's still a pretty even game. White can do some reductions here and down here and down here. So white right now is ahead of the game. And just a reminder, I am playing as white. Um, so I do that. He makes some shape. Now, I should not have done what I did. What I should have done is play here, because then it's just a solid connection of my dragon to over here. What I ended up doing is playing the diagonal to threaten reducing. Because I believed that I would be okay, I would be able to keep that area, etc., etc. My next move, again, should have been right there. But no, I had the mind of reduction. Good old reduction. <laughs> and we just went on with this. And he played there. And then I made this sad mistake of playing there. I mean, it's big. It's a corner. But I should definitely be playing there. Definitely. Because you'll, you'll see why right now. Because after I play that, he just ignores it and plays there. And when that happens... I go ahead and do a Hane. He cuts. I have to extend. And now look at this area. He has this stone under attack. And this whole area is now losing its potential. Um, although he... This was very interesting play he, at this point. Um, he extends. Um, Atari. Atari back. Then he jumps out because he wants to keep reducing um, by sacrificing, sorry, by sacrificing his stones. Um, so, Firestone captured. Um, I'm going to put that under there. Um, so, after I capture, he protects that. Yeah, this is another part where direction is not in my mind. I'm just thinking, reduce, 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 reduce. <laughs> but what I should have done was just play here, because this is huge. Now, this is the hugest part right now. What I did was play here. Not very big. Four points, maybe three. While black playing down here reduces a good nine, 15 points. Sad me. Sad me. He does respond, though, which is good because he wouldn't want that whole area to fall apart. Um, he keeps Sente. Um, at this point, he plays here. And, I mean, I agree with it. It's a nice move. Um, nothing wrong with it. But after that, he plays here. So this is one reason why playing here instead of here earlier in the game was bad. There's a lot of weakness and potential for Black to do something. Um, and none of this would have been here if I had just played over there as well. Um, played the jump. Um, yeah, so I go ahead and protect so my dragon doesn't die, and I let him take the two stones. And here is when he does the attachment for the huge reduction. This is a fairly even game right now. I played here. However, something I could have done was play here, or play up here, because... Or I could play here. 
Um, but I chose to play there. And now we're just getting into the fun, fun stuff. That was a stone that was broken in half um, when I got it. Um, bad move. Definite bad move. Um, I could have just played out here. Just very simple. Um, but still going to be hard for white. Unless white instead had gone here. This move was just eh. Um, so I go ahead and do that. He extends up. And I make sure that my group is okay by playing here. He takes the initiative of taking the two stones. And yeah. And then I play a decent move. It works. Definitely protects um, any reductions from happening. So now it's still about even. Um, black still has the advantage. Actually, no, I believe that black is ahead. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely black is about ahead now. Um, black, oh yeah, and then black, black, I should have said that after saying this, and then black protects the Atari there, after the big stuff stopped. Um, and then I, I kept going with the Sente by playing there. Um, yeah. Then I came for the corner, because again, I just wanted to reduce. And now this next move is bad. Sure, it's an Atari, but it gets rid of potentially doing this if I have a stone in here. Um, so what I should have done is just play here. Um, but no, I did that. And now playing here, even though it's Gote, is still about 8 points. It's huge. <coughs> Excuse me. Been doing a lot of talking. It's definitely a lot more talking than I have done in the past, though, which is... <laughs> I I'm... I'm looking forward to this series. I mean, I've talked a lot. I've gone. I've explained a lot of things with this. It just feels more active. Um, but then again, I also did have this game reviewed at and planned a little bit ahead as to what to talk about with this game. So yeah, I I'm definitely looking forward to this series. Um, the next move I make is over here, because now I'm threatening this group on the side. He plays here, which is good. And the Sivendon agreed me, with me when I played this, that it is the better move than playing here, because then he can just play there and he gets Sante. Um, so I play there. He connects. And now I can't play there because lack of liberties. Um, he does the Atari. I connect. Whoops, wrong stone. Then he connects, and then I have to connect there. Because if he does that, I connect. He goes there, that, that, captured. Um, he does some reduction. I mean, now you can see how if I had done this jump up here, I would have had so much more. Um, he connected. I connected back. No, I did not connect. Stupid me. I played there. Because if I play here, then I'll be fine. Actually, any... any no, I would, I would be fine. Um, sorry, I should have... I meant to um, go over some possi more possibilities than just going over the game and explaining such and such. I'm going to make sure to do that later on and for the rest of this video. Um, so, the reason why I played here instead of playing here is because I will eventually have to play this anyway. But if I do leave it alone, he could first threaten that which gets rid of the potential 
for white to really do anything against black. Because after that, it's just good old living for black inside white's territory. Um, even if white were to play here, um, black could still even make a co. Um, white playing here. But this is still advan uh, advantage advantages. It, whatever you want to call it. Black still has that advantage here. Um, so that is my reasoning for playing here. And he, the Seven Dawn agreed that this, that this move was okay. Um, then he plays here. Sure, it's Ko, but it's not very big. About four points compared to some of the other things that can happen on the board, like here and here, this area, or here, or here, um, or here. Well, that shouldn't be there. Um, although, honestly, I probably would have responded to that, but I decided... Reduce. That's just all I thought about with this game. I just wanted to reduce. Um, however, then I tried overthinking things. Because this doesn't really work. I mean, if black just connects... I, I say this because when I play that, black connects here um, for these stones. And that during the game, um, when I played that move, he paused for a good five minutes, maybe ten. Oh, I should have mentioned this before. The main time was one hour with a five-period, 30-second um, Bayoyomi. Um, and we were about 30 minutes each. Um, I mean, if you played here, there's really no problem. I mean, I can't... I mean, I could try doing that, but that's not going to do anything. Playing there isn't going to do anything. There's nothing I could have done. But he misread the situation, I guess. And I guess he just wanted that more. Um, so he went ahead and played there, because that, mm, I mean, it's not even his yet. Uh, I went ahead and threatened that area, and then I make huge reductions. Reduce, reduce. Um, actually, there was another 7 on. There were two 7 nons, but one of them didn't participate. He kept saying that I should have gone here. Because this is still huge. Because black isn't necessarily alive. Even though it's me I for it. Um, but I I played that. Black that. And me that. And I looked and I did all that without looking at my phone. Um, and then he takes two stones. Not too... Mm. Then I play there. But he plays... Here. So now he's got seven points right there. And I've got a group in Atari. The seven Dawn... And the seven Dawn that was part of the um, tournament... Both agreed that I should have just connected... Here. And let him take those stones, because I can either, I can threaten to capture his six stones while saving two stones instead, and being able to save this area. Um, because there's always the possibility of black being able to connect in there and when he gets sent in. Um, but I guess that he didn't see it. Um, throughout the game. Um, and I thought that this was bigger than that because it's an Atari. You just 
you want to protect an Atari. But whenever you're in Atari, when threatening to do something big like this, then you just got to think about it. White play there, black take, white protect, saves. It's just much bigger, much bigger. Uh, but I end up going here. Um, he throws in. No idea, really. Um, and then does that. And then he just does a bunch more reducing. I play here because I want to be able to connect in here and not have him get it in Sente. If I play here and then he play there, I play there. It, uh, no. I mean, I'm not going to get any points from this unless I somehow get that, but that's just one point. Um, so that's why I played there. He pushes out again. I protect. He pushes again. Well, not push, threatens again. And then I protect. All right, I'm back. I just went to go get a drink of water really quick. Throat was getting really dry. Okay, so... Okay, so the last thing that happened was... Um, the uh, continuous sente moves to threaten to cut off the dragon. Um, after that, he did some re reduction by playing there. But then, whoops, his next move was down here. His goal was to come down here and be able to threaten something in there. Um, so I extend down, um, but he realizes that there's nothing he can do there. I'll be able to capture the cutting stone if he tries. And then I protect. And he plays here. Um, what I should have done was play here. According to one of the seven dots. The one that wasn't part of the tournament. Um, I ended up playing here. And he plays here and, and I get the sente. The sente. Now I do want to point out. That I should have won this game. Yes, I lost. I lost by four and a half points. And what is about to happen was the biggest dumb thing that I did, other than the obvious whatevers, um, because of a stupid thought that I had. My thought is that these stones were not cut off. Well, yeah, that's basically it. I played here because it it would have worked if these were not a, dead. But it's because of that move that I lost good two, four, six, eight points. And in the game, if I had instead gone here, he probably would have only gotten two more points compared to the thing. So this was a full. 10 point mistake if i had not done this mistake it may seem like a small mistake or whatever but th it's because of that this thing that i lost i was ahead before i made that mistake i was ahead and i should have won this game but i was not thinking when i played this i played this move fast even though i had 20 minutes time because I wasn't thinking about that. So he plays there. At this point, I should have just played here. I probably would still be ahead. But no. I didn't. And then he pushes. And pushes. And threatens. This is what cost the game, ladies and gentlemen. My stupidity cost me the game. I mean, we, we played all the way through to the end. But this was just dumb on my part. I mean... I used to always think that I was good with endgame, but then just at one point, all of the sun, all of my endgame just went 
and just sucked. Um, and something like that. I mean, I don't make it make dumb end game like that now, but I still do weird end game stuff. Um, but I am working on that. So next. Okay, so I made the Gote move here. So now, black pushes, and I block, and he plays here, and I do need to respond to this, because if he were to play here, and then me protect, and then him play there, there's no way I can get two eyes. So I played there. Um, he continued with the Sente. He put me in Atari. I took. Black plays here. Honestly, Black should play here. Because I can't just cut him off. Because then Black take just completely captured. So that was a bad misread for him. Well, not bad, but just. It was a misread. Oops, that's there. Um, where he could have gained a bit more. Um, after I blocked, he played here. And then he took the nice huge corner. Biggest part of the board. Um, and then I take the initiative of doing some pushing myself. And no, I'm not left-handed. I just keep switching the phone to my left and right hand. I go ahead and Atari. And then I went up here. So, yeah, basically now it's just endgame stuff. Um, not too many exciting things after this point. Um, just continuous endgame. After that... But I, I'm definitely really glad that I went over a bunch of things in this review of the game. I want to say lecture, but I'm not used to saying lecture. But I, I probably should. This lecture. This lecture. This lecture. Just more, there's something stuck on the bottom of that. Whoops, wrong, stone. Black, white, black. White, black. And then I was dumb and just realized that there were two goes and went ahead and went for that. And he took that. I decided that I wanted this co because I didn't want to leave any possibilities there. So I played there for a co threat. He took. No, I did not play there. No. I played there. Yeah, I played there. He protected. Because it's just the one threat I needed. No need for me to go there. So I took. He took. I protected, he protected. And then AGA rules, we have to fill in every Dame. Good old AGA rules. I love filling in the Dame. If you've seen some of my videos from the First Steps into Dawnhood series, you would know that I love filling in the Dame. I'm the dummy lover. Um, I did take this stone, and I'll show why. I'll show why, actually. So let's say I went there instead. He plays here. I take Atari, Atari, here, 
gone. Um, is there anything else? No. I I took uh, that, that, that thing. Actually, do I have the right amount of stones in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. Seven. Okay. We're good. We're good. We're fine. Um, so I took... And then just more dame. Gotta fill in all the dame. And then, also part of AGA rules, white's turn. So white has to give a stone to black, black a stone to white, and then white a stone to black. The reason for that is because for AGA rules, white always has to play last since black played first. So when black played here, it's white's turn. So white gives black a stone, even though honestly it could just end like that. White gives black one stone, but I guess that they wanted to do it like this where black then not like that. Where black then gives a stone, that's upside down, and then white gives another stone again. Um, if white were the one to play last, then black would be giving a stone as a pass, and then white giving a stone to pass, and that's it. Um, but since he filled in the last dame, um, I had to give an extra stone. But that's AGA rules. Um, it's not always going to be like that for tournaments. And like I said, um, black won by four and a half points. And I do want to say that, yes, it is because of this when I played here. And it is because I didn't defend this upper area and I, I jumped up too far there. So, yeah, that... That's basically it. Oh, a bunch of talking. So, I do have four more games from the tournament that I will go over. Um, for the tournament, I won three of the five games. This is the first one that I lost. Um, the second game I won against a th AGA 3 Dawn. The third game I lost to a 1 Dawn. No, two dawn. Um, and then the second day of the tournament, with the other two games, I won both games. One against a one dawn and the other against a two Q. Um, yeah, it's a dawn division, but um, because of the Q division, the lower division, excuse me, um, they had a few that were part of the dawn division. Um, and because there were an odd number of dons, I think. So, yeah. This is the first game, which I lost. And I hope that it kind of helps with something. And I really do hope that this series works really well. I am l really looking forward to this series. So, thank you for watching. I hope that you learned something from this. And I will see you next time. Later.